Hey guys, it's your girl Miss Motivation coming at you with another video today. Just want to um, catch up with you guys and just basically bask in the ambience of all this glorious stuff that I am doing early this morning. <laughs> and I just wanted to share it. I'm up, I've been up since like 7 o'clock and I was like, I'm going to get on here and talk to my peoples this morning. So, have you ever woke up in the morning and you just like, you just thirsty, you don't know what you want to drink, and so you have like 90 different things out, you know, you're making coffee, you're doing a tea, you got your big old cup of water, and then you're just like, I don't know which one I want, I'm just so, not really thirsty, but just got a taste for something and you don't know what you really got a taste for. Well, I definitely don't have a taste for my 310 this morning, not right now, not at this moment. But I had a taste for something, and what I really had a taste for it. Have you ever had that Marsala tea that you can go to Thai um, food restaurants and actually get, or Indian restaurants, and um, get in a cup and they serve it with warm, uh, they serve it warm, of course, and they serve it with um, like cream and a little bit of cinnamon, and it just looks so good and it's so like refreshing that's what I had a taste for this morning and of course out of all the tea that we have in our cabinet we're out of Marcel so I was kind of you know not really upset but kind of disappointed because that's what I really wanted so now I got me some tea brewing I did find some black tea um, and it was like a French vanilla flavor and the other one was a vanilla flavor but um, I decided, well, I wanted to make it and try it and see if I put like a heavy whipped cream in there and then, um, not really a heavy whipped cream, but like, you know, half and half, something like that and see what it would taste like, what it would do, you know. Sometimes they turn out pretty good. Just depends. You could probably do most teas like that and you really not know it because you don't know actually what's going to happen and you don't want to ruin your cup of tea. So I guess you would make a like a bigger pot of tea so you can take that one cup and if you're gonna mess it up you can mess it up and you still got your tea and of course you know my um poor tea pot that i used to have that was really ugly that i used to show y'all on here um of course she she passed away and she's no longer with us so i have to get me another one and so now when i fix tea i have to fix it in a big old pot and i hate to do it so now i don't even want to bring out the pot to do it is that lazy or what? I don't know. Um, so if you hear noise in the background, I got me some coffee brewing. I got me a, um, where'd it go? Oh, I got my big cup of Polar Pop. Um, it's a Polar Pop cup full of water, which is, uh, I think, halfway gone right now. And then um, I'm, I'm making a mung bean. Have you ever heard of mung bean split? It is in the pea and the bean family. When they remove the skin, then it kind of splits the pea and or the bean, whatever you want to call it. And um, so this is what it is. And you don't have to soak them. They cook very fast. And um, I mean, it's really good. Um, right now, what I did, I guess the, I'm gonna just tell y'all what I'm doing. So I got a pot on the stove, and this is the longest process for me, because I cooked my smoked turkey in a pot with some um, minced garlic, and of course real garlic, you know, um, and um, a little bit of green peppers and onions, so I got that stuff going. And the reason why I cook it so long is because I really want the meat to fall off the bone. Now here, I have some smoked turkey that I have cooked and it's already ready and prepared to go down in my mung bean which I can't wait I'm just so ready for it and then over here I got some um, chopped green peppers some onions and some whole garlic you probably like girl I mean how much garlic do you want to put in there not very much I got a little bit of garlic in there while my turkey was um, rolling and uh, because I want that to kind of get real tender and fall apart, you know, and 
I got some steamed celery, carrots, and potatoes that I'm going to put down in there as well. Kind of make it, you know, hearty. It's already hearty, but, you know. And so in the process of that, I did do my, um, you know me, with my dry seasonings. Uh, I did most of them, but not, well, I did most of the ones that I like to want to use. Um, didn't do as many as I would like. Where's my turmeric? So, let's see. I'm looking for my big uh, bottle of turmeric. Hold on just a second. Our turmeric. Everybody calls it something different. It smells so good. Put that in there. My beans ain't in there yet, but I'm going to sprinkle a little bit of that in there. Let's see if I can turn, turn y'all around so you can kind of Motivation, what are you seasoning? Well, the turkey and the water. <laughs> the turkey and the water. And basically, I'm just using all my dry seasonings, nothing with any sodium in it right now. Just a very little bit of that, not a whole lot. And um, of course, accent. It's um, pretty good. My mother used that stuff, and um, that's basically where I got it from. It just gives stuff a, a kind of a different flavor. I don't know. Um, let's see. It has. It's for soup, soup, stews, casserole, sauces, salads, vegetables, and um, I like it. I wouldn't. Have, I used to not be a big fan of it, but I do like it. Let me get this stuff picked up for me. The 
smoked turkey because I like the flavor to get down all up in there and you know all that good stuff so yeah um, so that's what I'm doing today I'm getting ready to go ahead and um, throw my veggies in there too because I'm getting ready to throw them in there I'm gonna let that water come to a boil one more time I'm going to do my little, um, I'm going to uh, cut up my little whole garlic that I got over here. I'm going to throw it down in there after I get them cut up. I got about two little bit, two small ones, and then got one that's kind of healthy. I love garlic. I do. And I got over there. Got some uh, chicken breast and thaw, which is real good here. And we'll go ahead and throw my meat in there. Is that boiling yet? Yeah, it's coming to a boil. Let me tell you guys, Mother Nature has hit your girl. I gotta go work today, and I'm just like not even feeling it. But I think I'm gonna be okay. Um, I just feel, I don't feel real bloated, not yet, but I feel, um, you know, you know how you feel. I just feel, you got that feeling. And I'm just hoping that today's going to be a good day and it goes by pretty fast because I do not want to have to deal with a whole lot of crazy. So that's another run that I have to make today so I can get that together so I can have plenty of the necessities that I need for work. And so I'm just trying to get everything done early. So uh, once I get through, I'm going to lay down. And I'm not getting back up until, I don't know, a certain time. But, yeah, so my water is boiling. What I'm going to do is add, you know, I'm sorry, guys. I hate turning all that noise. But I dropped some of my onions. And that's the reason why I was using this spatula because I was hoping that I wasn't going to drop nothing. Y'all know I got this glass cutting board thing that they done put into the counter. So it's very loud. It drives me crazy. I hate to even listen to my videos after I've made them. And right now my turkey, uh, it is a smoked turkey, but it is getting real good and tender. I like to take my knife through it and kind of make some slits because I like that flavor. Ain't nothing like that flavor. And then when it, I normally, once it gets real soft, I take it apart because I don't like the splinters and all that to be in the food because, you know, my son, even though he's old enough, but, you know, anything can happen, even with myself, anything can happen. So, oh. Mm -mm. Yeah. It's one of them kind of type of mornings, dropping and everything. Yeah, and I'm making even more of a mess trying to get it together. But it's okay. I'm go ahead and put some of this in my pan. cook up, which ain't going to take very long, and I'm going to put my cut up turkey in there, cut up smoked turkey, which it will be delicious, delicious, make me some dishwater, of course, and I think what I'm going to do, because I'm really wanting it, is have me a 
talking to you guys and just letting you know what's going on in my life and what I'm doing. And if you like videos like this, let me know. Give me a thumbs up. Leave me a comment. Let me know if you really like this type of video. Um, I don't know. I don't get as many views on these type of videos, but I do get some videos and some people tell me they like them, you know, and some may not. Some may just pre prefer that it's all business every time, you know, the 310s videos, they are just like, people love those. The shakes, the different shakes, uh, just the videos, people they like those. So, you know, I know I do enjoy doing that, but today I just didn't feel like 310. So, I don't know, I guess because last night I left off having a, um, a shake last night. It was a banana mango baby and mug was good. And guess what? I did not go get my ginger and I'm mad about it. So I got to do that today because my mind was boggled. You know, uh, my granddaughter's birthday is coming. Uh, it's, it was here on the 25th, okay? But we were supposed to be celebrating it. And, you know, uh, I already had a little gift. Got her what she wanted. She wanted this. Um, she's into unicorn everything. And the, the um, LOL stuff, you know, that's real popular, right? So we got her all that stuff, and um, I haven't been able to give it to my grandbaby. Not on my daughter's, not by my daughter's doing, but the other side of the family. Not that we um, have bad um, um, bad uh, what do you want to call it? Like, you know, not that we have fallen out, but I think because of the situation, but, you know, being bad, I'm a very understanding person and I'm not nasty. You know, I'm able to accept whatever I have accept and I have continued to love um, the other part of the family that may not, you know, really care for me. And that's fine because of differences, our past, whatever, whatever. You know, I'm just one of them type of people. I'm a forgiving person. And I let it go and I leave it alone. But some people tend to dwell and maybe, you know, um, they don't uh, prefer us to be in their presence. So it kind of makes it hard really for my son and me actually seeing how he feels and what he goes through. Not being able to have that close connection with that side of the family when they allow the others to have close connection. Even after everything. And, you know, he kind of looks at that like, you know, and I don't like for him to feel like it. And I don't like to feel like it because it makes me angry. And then when I get angry, then I do want to say some things that I really, that I know that, you know, I shouldn't even say it. don't even matter. Um, if you're fine, then I'm fine. Yeah, you know, if, if, if that's just what it is. Um, I don't like conflict. I don't. I am a very outspoken person. And I do tend to say what's on my mind, but, um, and not try to be, um, hurtful. A lot of things that I do say, you know, I try to say it out of love. And, um, you know, there's a lot of things that I have went through in my life that my kids have had to deal with that, um, a lot of parents, if they was me, they probably couldn't be on the same level as me with the things that they have dealt with with some of the other side of the family but you know I'm different I know God and that is the difference with me 
I know God and I know that, you know, uh, I don't have to, you know, uh, vengeance is not within me. I don't have to hold grudges. I don't have to not like you. I don't have to, it doesn't matter because at the end of the day, God is uh, the judge of all. And whatever, you know, if you've done wrongly, then he takes care of you. There's no sense of me trying to do anything to anybody. And I know I'm talking around a whole lot of swirly swirl, and you don't even really know what's going on in my family. But it's just, I hate family conflict. I hate when people try to act like things are one way, but really they're another way. It really bothers me. And then especially when my, my kids, my son, have to... He recognizes what's going on. He's not done. You know, he'll be 16 and he's very, I've always told him, observe, you know, be a, a very observant of your surroundings, people that you deal with, because even though people smile in your face, it doesn't mean that they necessarily like you. And you don't have to befriend anybody or try to cause anybody to like you that really don't. You can just get away from them, you know, and that's my model. That's my thing. But, you know, I love you guys, and I just, maybe that's what's on my mind this morning while I got up early, and maybe I needed to really talk to somebody, and, you know, sometimes, and I do have people I can talk to, uh, and vent to, but, um, I don't know, sometimes it's just good to be able to talk to people, not hold things in, uh, I'm not a depressive type of person, I don't like to sit and dwell, you know, um, if once it's in, I like to get it out, and then I try to move on with my life. And um, I don't know. I believe in healthy everything. A healthy mind, a healthy mentality, healthy lifestyle, healthy, 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 healthy everything, you know. And basically, that's what my channel is about. You know, sometimes we do need to talk up to people about things. And as women, a lot of times we like to hold things in. And, um, you know, that's something that I told myself I would not, I won't do. I'm not holding anything in, and I'm going to talk about them, and, um, but I'm not going to be a nasty person, and I'm not going to, um, you know, I'm just, I don't know. I'm just going to continue to be me and trust God and let him allow, allow him to do whatever he's going to do with the situations around me and the people that mistreat us. And that's all I can really do. You know, um, especially if God knows, you know, we haven't done anything to bother anybody. But, you know, it's sad that even though with all that going on, you know, the one person that suffers in it all the most is the grandchild because of different ways of everybody else. Instead of having, being able to have everybody around them that love them, they, it has to be a separation. And, you know, I thought people on the outside do that. I don't, I don't, I didn't think that, you know, that happens with family, but it does. But I have friends that love me better than, you know, some family, some of my family members. But, and I thank God, I thank God put them in my life for that reason. Where I don't have to dwell and, 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 and feel the way that I do about certain situations with them. You know, I can go talk to them. You know, it just, I don't know, it just makes me feel better. But I just hate for my son to suffer. And I know you guys, if you got kids, you don't like to see your kids suffer, honey. You know, if somebody do something to your kid, honey, it makes you feel a certain type of way. And you won't do something to them. And I don't practice violence. I don't condone it. I don't, none of that. But, you know, I just don't like to see my baby hurt. I do not. But anyway, end of that, and I'm letting these mung bean cook, and um, guys, I'm going to go take care of some more business. I may be back to give you another video today, uh, maybe um, to prepare my lunch today for work, something of that sort, maybe do a 310, I don't know, depends on how it all flows, uh, because it is busy, um, it's 925, and uh, Time flies when you have things you really have to do. So maybe I'll be back with you guys. I love you guys. I hope I didn't bore you to death. I just probably really needed somebody to talk to. Maybe that's just the truth of the matter. I didn't really, maybe it wasn't really um, my motto to get up and just talk to you and tell you about just uh, anything, all this scraggly stuff I'm doing around the house. Maybe I just need, really needed to talk to you and 
maybe give some of your advice. I don't know. Um, I love you guys. If you're going through something, feel free. Anytime. Not that you got to put all your business on here, but, you know, maybe um, something you've dealt with in different ways that you have dealt with it. And uh, maybe it could be, um, you know, problems with family and, and, and how God has allowed you to deal with it and get over it and, and what you do to you know, make your child feel uh, better in those type of moments. And, you know, me and him, we had a me him day yesterday. So that was my way of doing whatever, which turned out good. And at the end of the day, he's like, Mom, I had a good time. I had fun. So, you know, I, I just, I like to see my kids smile. I don't want them depressed and worried about nothing and feeling like they're outcasts or, you know, they're less loved because definitely not, honey not when it comes to me. I love my kids more than the air that I breathe. You know, God number one, and my kids. My heart. <laughs> and, uh, but I love you guys. This is Miss Motivation. If you're not a subscriber, please subscribe. Hit the bell on the side for notification. And leave me a comment. Bye, guys.